168 pounds a week. You never say you took some of it off. Dark coats and milk you picked. Until I get the dark coats back, I'm having nothing to do with anything out there. Nothing. You can say what you like. I'm sick of you. Are you planning to be in a huff for the next two weeks? I'm not in a huff now. So kick me out. Just kick me out of the house, have the first vote, and I'll be away. Just do it. John, today Big Brother set the housemates a task. Have you considered that taking part in the task may bring rewards? Give me my dark cokes. They're not a reward. I'm entitled to them. They're not rewards. It's entitlement. Do you think I'd go around crawling to you for rewards? Look at you putting that tomato juice. Who do you think you are? Contemptible. I'm leaving this room. Come on, let me out. Could Come you sit down, please, No, John? let me out. I'm, I'm leaving here. I've nothing more to say to you. Let me out of here. Come on, let me out. Am I a prisoner in here, are you saying? John Big Brother would just like to ask you one more question. All right, one more. Have you talked to the group and asked whether they would be prepared to sacrifice anything of theirs in exchange for your fizzy drinks? I wouldn't ask them. No! Now let me out of here. How dare you! Well, it says there that you're not allowed to move any furniture. No, you're not. So, it's either fix the bed or change the John, rules. there is some food for you here if you're interested, are you? That's a no, then. Nine thirty-three p.m. Big Brother has set the garden for the courtier's final chore of the day: pheasant plucking. They've been plucking for forty minutes. In order to pass the chore, they have ninety minutes to fully pluck fourteen pheasants. John has decided that he won't give a pluck. During chores, Queen Lisa and the courtiers are exempt from the usual court and individual rules relating to their rule. I think this is the, one of the most repulsive things I've ever done in my life. This one smells, look at that. Oh, is that right? All <laughs> well, the skin's Breast coming back, off. Yeah, legs. Look at that. Oh, God! <laughs> it's a tragic little sight, isn't oh, it? My one just winked at me. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's getting turned on. I think <laughs> it's, she's falling in love with you. It's the first bird I've touched in ain't she already? She's going for it. Jermaine? Yeah? For the wings, how the hell do you do the wings? You pull hard. The mm. skin is just coming off. Stinks. Mm. Oh, shit, look at that. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that is horrible. Oh, Throw God. it away. There's all the innards and everything, that. Sticky uh, little object. Look at that. You know I mean? <laughs> Come on, Casey, you've got to join us anyway we get through this thing. Oh, come on, man. I'm not right <laughs> touching that, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We guess it. Dude, I think this is the vagina. Yeah. This is so gross. Oh, 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 oh. She should have at least gone for Brazilian before she oh, came oh, out. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh it's just shit coming out of his ass. Eh? <laughs> nice. It's a lot better when they don't rip in half. Hmm? I can't believe they allow him to walk around like that. That is ridiculous. It's annoying. He's such a jerk. You know what is aggravating him so much? That he's be bopping around, having his hot tub, drinking his tea, doing everything he wants, standing there looking at us like seven idiots. This is not fair. Everyone is suffering as a result. Are we done? We're yeah. done. Despite being one man down, the courtiers have managed to successfully pluck 14 pheasants. Well done, guys. Well All done. Right. Well put. Twelve fifty-six a.m. Kenzie, Jermian, Jeremy, and Bez are in the living room. There's a lot of crazy people out there, and they write letters to me every week. I get, every week, I get my dose of insanity. John has just got into bed. Would you like me to wipe your ass for you, Queen Lisa? No, you can do that maybe later. Queen Lisa is in her chamber. Royal warmer Bridget is preparing her bed. And royal dresser Caprice is helping the Queen into her pyjamas. Watch yourself, wait, wait, Do you want me to move over here? Because I put the pillows ready when for I'm you. When I'm ready to, but for now you warm my bed. Yeah, it's, I'm heating it up so lovely. 
Do you know this waterbed is lovely, is my it? queen? Yes. Is this what these women have done? Well, in fact, in those days, I mean, it was not easy being a, cl a queen. Huh? It was. It's not like it, it is today. It's easy being a queen, but yeah, it's worse for them, right? It's hard. Hard. Yes, of course, Everyone it's thinks hard. It's the ideal. Ready? Yeah. Ideal job in the world, but actually, it's not at all. Pretty rubbish. Yes. Right. Queen, once you get in bed, I'll, I will inform the entire court. I have added a pillow to... Wait, wait. Sorry, my queen. Let's do this thing, y'all. Yeah, feel free to mark anyway. Are you happy with the way we are working for you, my queen? You two in particular? Yes. I can wish for closer allies. Or better, <laughs> or better my queen, we are here to serve you. That I know, I know, I know. I suggest, my queen, something. Since they are dirty little boys, you should have them wash off in the hot tub and as they step out, do a nice little dance. We lull them into false insecurity when they go into the hot tub. Oh, yes, and on, yes. their, on their imminent departure, we say, I say, because I'm yes. the queen, I demand that you give me 20 thrusts. Yes, now. yes, yes, queen, yes, 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 queen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 2.59 a.m. Kenzie, Caprice, Jermaine, Jeremy and Lisa are in bed. Bez and Bridget are the last ones up. Oh, my God, I'm not in bed. <laughs> in the morning, uh, Everything is fine, but... My God, that was a long time having this shit on. Yeah, we've got to do it's it all. It's very pretty, but... We've got to do it again tomorrow. But can I say that? You wear it well. Oh. <laughs> right. Mm. You're the best. I am the best. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're very real. I love it. See you in the morning, Bridge. Yeah, of course, I'm ready to go whenever you are, but you need to be able to put I've got to raise the flag. I've got to raise the flag as well. You've got to do the flag. You catch a cold, but. That's all. I'm sorry, Joe. I know. You count. Okay. One, two, So there they all are, hanging out in their medieval costumes. Everyone except for John, that is, who's sulking in an egg around the corner. They've all been speculating like mad as to what's going to be happening. Um, but they're about to find out really, really soon. Anyway, after the break, stand by. Someone is going to be making a right royal entrance. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> Five days ago, eight celebrities went into the house and thought, hey, how lovely, and that's it. How wrong they were. Our ninth celebrity housemate arrived in London last week. That person's been tucked away in a secret location ever since. But now, at last, there's no need for secrecy anymore. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, here is celebrity housemate number nine. Oh, Danny boy. Oh, crap. 
Meet Jackie Stallone, Hollywood mother of three, astrologer and heavily bejeweled bottom reader. <laughs>